Good evening, Karen and Natalie. Yes, they're calling this an armed robbery because of just what you just mentioned. The robbers came inside the store, took the merchandise, and then allegedly sprayed them with mace as well as threatening them with that stun gun. Now the chief of Mandeville says that all this came as a shock and this is something rare to happen within the city. Nothing this extreme. This was a, little, a lot over the top. It's how quick and fast these women committed this act that Manaville Police Chief Gerald Sticker says is why he wants them caught quickly. Take a look. Around 6.50 last night, police say five women entered the Victoria's Secret store in the Premier Shopping Center. One of them armed with mace, the other with a stun gun. You can see the suspects enter, pick up a variety of different things. Then just before leaving, they spray two of the employees dead in the face. All of them were described as African-American females. Three of them were light skinned, two of them were dark skinned, and all were between 5'5 to 5'10 inches in height. They're also all believed to be in their 20s. Police say one of the suspects had red hair, another had a ponytail, and a third had a thick braid. The shortest lady had on a red baseball cap. Casey Morris was inside of the Victoria's Secret when it all happened. They had sprayed pepper spray, and literally like five minutes later, the police pulled up and we were all like coughing, our faces were burning. Some people said their eyes was burning. Chief Gerald Sticker says they may not have used guns with bullets in them, but they're taking this case very seriously. This is over and above your average shoplifting. Um, they forcibly removed merchandise. They armed themselves, and statutorily, it fits the criteria of an armed robbery. And when we catch these individuals, that's what they're going to be charged with. Now, Mandeville, Mandeville police tells us that they believe that the individuals got away in a silver Honda sedan with a temporary license plate with unknown numbers on that. If you have any information on this case, please call the Mandeville Police Department. Reporting live in Mandeville, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News.